Hi, Grandma. Hello. Am I the first one? Oh, it's just you and me so far. You want the video one? No. 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 You just want your picture? No. You want your video or no. picture? Just my picture. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just us so far, Grandma. Okay. People usually start joining about like five minutes, 10 minutes in. We got no set rules anymore. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know it. Oh, what you been doing? Oh, just uh, getting ready for our session. <clears throat> uh, and we'll meet again tomorrow night, huh? Oh. Waiting to hear back from Miss Brenda. Huh? I'm waiting to hear back from Miss Brenda to see. What time? <clears throat> I'm just looking at different uh, books. I have not read anything altogether or nothing. I just don't know what to do with myself anymore. Well. Wow. I didn't realize how many years I had been at this. And yeah, that's a while. You know, and I wouldn't believe it if uh, if I was taught to talk back to older people or say something about them. You're uh, you're you were raised different. Mm -hmm. Your grandmas were different. Nowadays, I don't care how old you are. There's no respect. Hmm. History of Kiowa Tire, 2018. It's got Kiowa Prayer Song, Pat Coop Song, History of Kiowa Tire, Introduce the Tire Boys, Introduce Girls, Dorothy. Oh, I remember that. And that was that uh, outreach you did. Up there by the school. You remember uh -huh. we had practice, practice attire words, Melody and Chelsea. Oh. Close child's game. Osonkolo. Little gray puppy. It's cute. It's got a side <laughs> view. Jackie Son Tokoy in her buckskin and uh, some other little lady with a cloth dress. No. Oh. Let me keep this. I said I want to make a scrapbook about through that time. Then there was, I'm looking at myself in Santa Fe's empty. You know that, that, <laughs> that Bert guy, you remember uh, George Bert number's uh, brother? They're, they're uh -huh. the one that killed himself. Uh, what was I going to say mm. about it? Oh, he made me a mother's ring and it had a red stone and that seven little turquoise around. Aww. I'm just looking at the picture. I lost that. I lost the stone. I guess I knocked it somewhere and didn't know it. Oh. I've been trying to, I've been trying to put earrings together. Oh wow! And I see each each one that you gave me as a memory. I remember all that, <laughs> you know, and what uh, it's from different states. Now, um, I found out the well. I found out there's the songs, you know, from a long time ago. Of course, that's for our other session. You know, uh -huh. and the, the old Kiowa, Ongya, like T H O N, Ongya, G Y E. Kong is black. The old careful woman, the words are. 
the one that dresses in black. It's old Kaiwa, Kont Ong Getseo. Now that now you'd say Kohola, you know, with modern Kaiwa. And I say Yate, Yate is poor thing. She ain't gonna never catch me, she'll just quit chasing me. But then they thought the dog going dog them. Dog them means when someone's chasing you. Even the bear, <laughs> you know, in them scary stories. Uh-huh. And that's full of old. Are we gonna emphasize that or are we just gonna sing the songs and tell the words? Huh? We can talk about those too. It's really interesting. You know, that's I'm anxious. Oh, I just been sitting here all day doing nothing. I didn't go to church. The girls took baby and they went. <laughs> dark and gloomy. Is it that great that way up there? Oh, it's dark and gloomy up here. <laughs> Cloudy and kind of like drizzly. Yeah. And cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold here too. Poor thing. I've got some pictures of Peladuro. Oh, really? Yeah. The Lullaby Project. Did you ever see this? October the 4th, Tuesday, 9.30 a.m., Indian City. Uh, oh, honey. That's what's his name. And then it's a card, someone's business card. And I've never wrote to or concentrated on anyone by the name from Glorieta, New Mexico. Oh, wow. It's got the Lullaby Project. Anita Gerlich and Ned Place, founder. Help us oh. preserve. It's got help us preserve your lullabies for future generations. I'll have it for you when you come. This card. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. And I had to have gotten it several years ago because I don't remember. Oh, yeah, interesting. Seemed like they seen my Waho song somewhere or <laughs> something like that and they wanted to use it or something. Mm -hmm. And I never did get with him again, but it's a card. All it has is a box number. Oh, okay. Interesting. Gloria. Yeah, huh. Is it really some? I don't know who they are. I don't remember. <clears throat> hmm. You about ready for Christmas? getting there everyone's been so sick we haven't had a chance to decorate or anything so that's what we'll be doing this week since people are feeling better your your tree was pretty <laughs> uh oh <laughs> i'm looking at a picture of the pope john paul Oh, nice. <laughs> 1987, when northern tribes dressed him in a buckskin outfit. No news about nothing. Honey. I ain't heard nothing either. It's, it's been radio silence. <laughs> I wish we were still meeting in person. Mm hmm
I saw that the uh, Norman in Norman, there's a uh, uh, what is it? A District Seven Kiowa Language Community class every on a mo monthly basis. Every month. You said cricket. Huh. And her husband. I, I think so. What are they going to teach? Fast learning or? Hanya Haiga. While we're waiting, I'll show you a flyer that I came up with. Yeah. Um, I like your dress, your buckskin. I've been looking and um, just roughly, I'm going to ask you a quick question. One day. When you made your dress, you've got the kind of heavier hide. Uh huh. Right now, I'm only interested in making the top. So, it's one of those three uh, hide dresses. My aunt Amy has the one on. And it's a top where you lay it like it uh, and put it sideways. But then there's the feet in the front. In the front, it's kind of uh, it's kind of cut short along the waist. Uh -huh. and, and then the, the fringes uh, cover all that. And then under there, she has a sash belt on. And the only thing she has beaded is at the neck where there's a, a oak leaf or a maple leaf. You know, like at her neck on the neckline of that dress. It uh -huh. has no, no beadwork, it's just fringes. And I oh. thought, if I could accomplish getting a top made, which is one eyed. I wonder what that would be. I think it's brain tan and it looks like elk, but oh. it was a one, one uh, top, one hide. <laughs> I'd like for you to look at that and then see if, if an expert was cutting it, they could tell where you would put the extension on for the, the bottom part. I could wear another skirt. You know, skirts are easy to put together compared to, when you compare it to the top. Uh huh. And let's say I've only worked on them when they're cut out already. Or when I worked for Ray McKee, when he cut a dress out for somebody, he sold him the hide. He had all kinds of patterns. And I would help him, but I never bothered to look. And uh, he had hundreds of pat, not hundreds. He had a lot of patterns. And we, I knew how to lay it out for him where it didn't stretch. You know, you laid it like the way it stood. Uh -huh. But that's all I know about it. This dress looks fairly simple. When I see you, I'll show it to you. And oh, if wow. I got, if I got a big enough fight, it'd probably cover my top. If you're not going to dance in it, you know, just to have a replica. Mm -hmm. Probably so need like it, a a 12 by 14 foot hide or a 14 yeah. by 16 foot hide. Yeah, the, about one mm -hmm. of the bigger ones. I wonder yeah. how much that would cost. Um, Let's see, I think the hide, because that's what size, we got the biggest size hide for, um, for Hajona's dress because she's really tall. Um, for the top, and I think we got a 15 to 17 square foot hide, and it was around $90 at Crazy Crow. Yeah. Uh, if I ever got that together, could you order it for me? Oh, yeah. You know, just the one big, one big hide. So I see if I could get a top out of that. And then oh. the the fringe is cut into the the you know the sleeves. It's not put on. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's really really interesting. But they done that like for a, not a dancing dress like we wear. You know when we when we make them, uh -huh. the fringe, fringes are the most important thing. I like mm -hmm. the way yours is cut. Your dress. 
wouldn't that be striking? You know, I like blue myself, but wouldn't a dress cut like yours be striking if it was red? Ooh, yeah. That would be cool. That would yeah. be cool. You still had the extra one. I wish somewhere we could find some way, so it would be interesting to try to put that together. Oh, it would. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to work on that, Grandma. Okay. Just, I'll be quiet now. Okay. <laughs> um, well, uh, I just got a message from uh, Aunt Carolyn and Grandma D, and they are not in Norman right now, so they won't be able to join us. Um, so, so far it looks like it's, uh, us and then I see Lori and I see Grandma Martha Nell also Hi. just joined us. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, let's see. So, let's see. So, I'm gonna, um, I've been working on that song, that Kiowa hymn that we talked about from Stephen Zotaya, that George Koyadadi sang. And so I, I have a little transcription to pull up here in a minute. But I thought I would start off with a prayer from uh, the Kiowa Culture Program recording, if that's OK. <clears throat> Kiowa Culture Program, November 27, 1979. We're at the Kiowa City office in downtown Carnegie. Our subject today is Christmas. Those present, Guy Tampey, James Silverhorn, Stephen Zotai, Yale Spotted Bird, George Kaidati, Hazel Boto, Esther Topa, Isabel Two Hatchet, Margaret Danko, Vicki Bodger, and myself, Bessie I. Haiti. And this morning, our prayer will be by George Coyadotti. So long, 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 so Ah, de montan bien de batón. Santa, toque que conta ya. Ne de que pelto es pa abeki. Ya to con co paquet e que to pa ton pamoke. E tanto ya que con ba mo be om de hor. E ma santa yo ate ha te lanta ya be o bo con ta. Being the legate on the ya pallet or eight on the ya contaya all the Santa Poet, they on them pon, but the contaya been the part. A lekaya could an ambition get boy him could be pagic yada, cabac yada. You eat a day dog, conge, but on the ya they get a cabot day when you are the dumb tight, they dumb tight. You know, the key to Motha got target the dog a long day about no man. Margaret did order the target the young um da. I either near the key to her, one near the dumb tight home, Tom Sun got. Did order the actum the banome, the more popel to keep the gocker. Colonda, you may pay a good out a coat, but beg it a man. The corn had a good, but goggle, they didn't get no either. Could the bike or hang it or how they did dog. I call goggle, it failed to get a good bit. I wonder, I could almost talk more. The higher thunder you get, I get them at home, get or to the built to eat that. 
at Agate, they took it in Kogiga, get out and wait at a bar, and I'm at Akayanda. They put it at a well. Amen. Do either of you, um, would any of you like to say a comment about the prayer? Brother Mark Thanel, do you mind um, summarizing what oh, you shared? Yeah, I didn't know if I was muted or not. Okay. Oh, well, okay. First of all, was that uh, Mr. Silverhorn? I think they said um, George Coyadati. Oh, George. Okay. I, don't know. I couldn't remember him. So, Okay. It sounds like when he's starting his prayer, he's talking about kind of being in this time of year. And he said uh, people are starting kind of you know, becoming excited, I guess, about this time of year. They're talking about seeing the tree. He said they're going to see the tree. Let's imagine it's a Christmas tree. He said we have people who are um, uh, in their homes, you know, they can't get around. They have people in jail. They have orphans. He said to think of all those people like that on your prayers. Um, think about the elders. He said, when he talked about the elders, he said, you know, they tend to kind of pay for everything. <laughs> So they must be the ones with the money. And um, and then he talked about the rest of the family, kind of named different um, kinships in there. And he said it was all good, and it was a great day today. He said um, Creator made everything uh, wonderful. Everything was good. And he asked if he would look over us. Uh, he said some people are gone already. He said, and we're thinking of others. Um, uh, good things for all these other people too. And at the end, he says to think of all of us. Oh, wow. Oh, uh -huh. Grandma Dorothy, would you like to comment on his prayer? Yeah, he said one word I didn't hear in a long time. Hema, Santa, Hema, orphan children. Okay. I hadn't heard that in a long time. And, they still, mm -hmm. and hang, ma, it sounds like if you say it with a little side sound, it sounds like dying. Mm -hmm. But hey, ma, is mean, uh, means an orphan. Mm -hmm. And sound is uh, children. So they used to feel sorry for uh, orphans quite a bit when they were little. Oh. So that's a new word for me. I hadn't heard it in a long time. Did you say it's hey, ma, Sando? Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sando are your children. And hey, ma is uh, an orphan. Oh. I know it. Um, let's see here. So I think what we wanted to do was, because we were listening to this recording, it's a Kiowa Culture Program 227. It's called Christmas Long Ago. Um, and last week when we were listening to it, we heard um, a, uh, a song that George Coyadati actually uh, sang. So I wanted to um, see if we could figure that song out and see what it means. So I'm going to skip ahead in the recording to so we can listen to um, Mr. George Coyadetti sing. Uh, so let me uh, skip ahead. And then I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on on this. So hey, though. Ah, cool. I 
Nodonpia, no, I don't. Oh, ain't got key the Montaha and more Ponda, yeah, don't sign it. I ain't no. I could say, Nico, both a leader, they tell doggy harp, ain't got doggy daughter. No, I'm going to go up, I'll get up with all, I'll say the gabber. Okay. Um, let's see. Grandma Dorothy, do you want to start us off? Do I want to what? Do you want to start us off and share any uh, comments that you have on what he spoke about? I, I thought I had an original mind here. They were doing that back in the 70s. I always uh, kind of wondered about my church, um, uh, the incense that we burn all the time. He's talking about the similarities with that and our cedar that we burn now. And then the state the cedar is um don't ape. I very seldom use that, but it's when you get the sense of smell of something. Don't ape. Don't ape. Yeah, you get the smell of the cedar and a long, long time ago, a priest came to visit and he witnessed a Native American church meeting. And he said the similarities were so similar to uh, the Catholic mass, you know, where they burn, we burn incense. Well, the priest does, just like the Kiowa men do and stuff like that. And, he, and Reverend, they called him Bob K to George Coyote. But he was such an elegant Kiowa speaker like the other ones. And uh, he buried my folks. That's why I know him. And he, when he was at Hawk Creek, um, he was such a nice man. And he was just really eloquent with his Kiowa speech. He was kind of known for that even then. But I learned another new Kiowa word, don't it? 
that's uh, smelling something. Oh, but, uh, oh, awesome. Uh -huh. um, Grandma Martinell, would you like to comment? Oh, pretty much covered what he, the basis of what he said. Um, he started out by saying it was an outstanding day. And he said, I'm going to sing a song, which he did. And I was talking about the Savior coming to earth to save us. That's the English words of the guy what we sing. And then he went on into talking like that, said that in the white churches, they use like incense. And then he described a cedar that the Indian people use. He said they prepare for it by going out, cutting it, getting it ready. And then they put it in the church. And that's what Dorothy was saying. I get done, Dave. You can smell that cedar in the church. It always smells so clean. Um, and he also mentioned that, like in the Native American church, they also use that. He mentioned that. And then um, he, at the end, he said, Thank you, Gagamata. Like Chris, at Christmas time, it's, that, it's an outstanding time. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I like that how he said that at the very end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. <clears throat> That's awesome. Hi, Courtney. I see Courtney joined us. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, let's see. So that song that he sang and i'll rewind it here um but i uh made a little transcription of it so we could look at it together so let me okay so did you on that song <clears throat> did you catch uh what he said about um he said Zotai Da Day. What does that mean? It's um, someone named Zotai made that song. That's what it sounds like. Do you think no. he's talking about Stephen Zotai? Uh, um, that's the only one I kind of know at that time, but it could have been somebody else. Mm -hmm. And let's okay. see. Here's the way he said it again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me let me pull that back up. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me rewind it to where he sings it. Hey, God, dog, get dog there. Now, I'm going to go out to the car, say the gabber. Don't get it, don't go don't care if don't go keep on hell. They don't I go keep on hell. No, I don't hell. They don't I go keep on hell. No, I don't hell. So die, dog, they don't get all get high, get done. Oh, he said, so tight, sang that. Yeah. 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 You, you notice how he pronounced it, Zodai. Yeah. That means to float away in it. Yeah. Zodai. And we say, Zodai now, you know. And it ain't going out of a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then they always tell, talk like they were told dog e dog they keep on son hail. that's Jesus dog e is keep on is to heal you, mm -hmm. heal us, son hail. Came, dog a e dog they keep on sun hail, and that keep on is I guess they mean to save you, save us, 
like our souls and then physically and uh, our minds, I guess, you know, keep, oh, they use that a lot in those old church songs. A keyboard. And so I was telling those keyboard girls, uh, Karen and um, her sister, y'all have a beautiful name. It means cured or saved. Keyboard. Keyboard. We say now. Hmm. But it's keyboard. Keyboard. Yeah. So. How would you translate so doc yeah e so Jesus dog a key phone son hail yes Jesus yeah. came here to save us we were told yeah but he's talking like that's what he was told mm -hmm. a lot of those songs have that you know that's what they said like that other yeah. old, that other old song when they say on day dog or keep on it means what is that you know they say uh, he they don't say who they say what is that yeah they don't say hot they don't say. yeah on day you yeah. know they, they should, yeah <laughs> like you said they should have been saying hot they don't know you know who is it but they say what is it mm -hmm. There's a, there's a little switch in those because they're to me, Martha, they're always like saying that's what they were told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. You know, like they're, they're just taking that as a as a saying. And that's what we do technically, I think, could we read the Bible? Oh, that makes sense to me. I know it. And Motan, they use that word a lot. You know, like you're excelling in everything, Motan. Mm -hmm. Motan. And go to Oconda. Oh. I like that word. I know that you always remind us about that word, Grandma. Mata. Uh, Mata. Goyguba Mata. I always say that when I talk. Kaiwas oh. are Mata. We're well known in everything our dress, our demeanor. Our personalities as a tribe. Oh. We stand, we excel in all of our ceremonial songs, our different rites, our organizations. Bakoto Mota. Oh. And then uh, another thing I wanted to ask the ladies, I've heard it more so lately from the younger classes. And they'll say, are you goy? You <laughs> never say that. What goy, mime, do? What goy, team, do? You just oh. don't say goy. You, you have to, to my kaiwa, you have to personalize it. And I've heard some of the teachers we taught say, what goy, are you goy? There's no such... Would y'all say that, Martha, or is it? No, I, I, I'm going to agree with you. I'd ask, I'd stick that um, ma or ki or something or tali yes. or togu or something, you know, on there. Yeah, goi so togu la dor. Goi ma ado. Yeah. Oh, that <clears throat> makes sense. It reminds me of uh, what uh, my uh, grandma Ruth would always say, get get on to us every time we try to try to shorten Kiowa, like to try to make slang terms, you know, she'd say that, that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. It's like nonsense. <laughs> yeah. So that that's a good, that's a good reminder is just to um, remind people that it's goi gu and then goi ma or goi ki or goi, you know, attach yeah. whatever but it, you can't just say it by itself 
because it doesn't mean anything by itself. Because <laughs> yeah, if you were telling someone that that person is Kai, well, you wouldn't say, ain't it going, dog? You would say it like that. You'd say, ain't it going, my daughter? My yes. Daughter. Oh. <laughs> and then I heard somebody call <laughs> his friend from a distance and said, gone. I said, you don't say that. <laughs> you know, it's a tie, and all. He's my heights, like Comanche. Or mm -hmm. you don't say, call you, and I'd say, go. Home. You're <laughs> saying friend, but it's not properly used. Yeah. Hmm. Or Bobby, I'd say Bobby before I'd say, go. <laughs> 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 but you can't, oh. <laughs> you can't correct anybody they get offended <laughs> well we should at least try to put it out there so someone will know so they make sense um so okay so this this song right here that we have can you see the screen mm -hmm. um so the translation so jesus is here to save us that's what they said mm -hmm. is is that accurate right because you're just repeating what you heard okay yeah now and then, and then hearing him say zodai mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. instead of zotai I wonder, maybe we could ask one of the family members. Because, you know, finding out that Doito was Doitoya, Doitoya. Oh. Spirit Walker. <clears throat> um, so for the for the names, how do you spell is it is this the correct spelling of Stephen Zotai or is it a TS? No, it's a C. Okay. Because that's that soda right there. Yeah. Okay. That so, is soda. Um, I used to actually see. think that kind of, you know, I wonder if it's soda, you know. Well, you know, it is so. I, I grew up learning that the difference of those families. And um, like, for instance, Terry is soda. Yeah. Soda. Soda. It, yeah. It's really soda. You know, it's O. But yeah. people confuse that too. Because the other day on the radio, I heard someone calling, um, Jacob, the chair, vice chairman, and they said, uh, we have Jacob, uh, and it's not like he says, Zotai, instead of, yeah. you know, it's the way it's supposed to be said. But they just went on with it. I, was, I could hear it, but he said it. <laughs> 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 I gave him a different last name, but. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I think Zotai is the first time, you know, the last letter of the alphabet. There's oh. not too many names like that. And that first Part of it, zot means to float, like on water. Zot, yeah. because sometimes you'd say uh, people were dancing on the dance floor and they're really smooth with what they're doing. Like that, uh, they could describe you as saying that you're floating on the floor, dance floor. So, oh, cool. Or zot to you or something like that. You know when they're dancing real smooth. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh and I'm if sorry. we had, I don't know at what point that we call ourselves our surnames we say them different like if uh, we took the comanche version i would be taint id mm -hmm. but in english i'm a white horse hmm. you know we took the description i think like snake uh, you know, not Kaiwas, but different descriptive. And the uh, like the Comanches are Pataconi, Pataponi, Taisika, you know, stuff like that. How would you explain that, you guys? You know, that they have their spelling of their Indian names. Oh. As compared to us, it's descriptive, like red bear black bear uh you know stuff like that yeah uh, to me it goes um 
some some families maintained like still have like the Kiowa word and yeah. then some have the English word like uh like in um with uh Redbird or Tainagul or White Fox Avapagui like yeah uh, so you know it's like you'll notice there's somewhere like in the 19 maybe 1930s 40s when they stopped using that and then just started using the English translation of it just my observation yeah <clears throat> Koyadori Bob Koyadori how do you spell his name for George K-A-U Y-E D-A-U-T-Y and Reverend George Koyadori but it's Koyadori holding the shield oh that's pretty So we don't know if it was composed by, but it was um, sung by. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, he just said he sung it. He heard him sing it. That's what that said. He was, I okay. can remember hearing some of his sermons. He was a, kind of a pretty, he was really eloquent when he preached. Oh. He mentioned uh, when we in the very beginning, he says, uh, Bong Dong Gai, Na A Da. Is, was he saying his Kiowa name or? It could be. Yeah. I was curious if you caught that and if you translated that or if you knew what his Kiowa name was. <clears throat> Um, let's see here. Um, so how would you translate uh hot so on a thong? Yeah, this this next line here. And I, I tried looking this word, this, these words up in the uh glossary. And don't tie, does that mean like searching, like looking for something? How would you translate that? I can't hardly see it. There's a little something over it. And I'm too goofy to know how to change it. Okay, no, let me try to train it again. That might be dome tie. Dome tie. Oh, dome, dome, yeah. Dome tie. Dome, 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 might be dome, dome tie. Dome tie. People, yeah. People on the earth. Oh, okay. They dome tie. So the earth. Yeah, I think it's dome tie. Yeah, you know, it, Martha. During yeah. the war, they said there, there's a uh, poor Kiowas. They couldn't say German. Yeah, so they say <laughs> You know, and there's a song. It's because Jimado Aldon Beit Hoto, Tal Gekhok Ehulto No Beyaygun. It's a, <laughs> we're gonna take the land away from the Germans and. When I kill one in victory, we'll dance with joy. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Purple <laughs> Heart song, one of their, one of their Yelda songs. Mm -hmm. They were really descriptive in their songs. Oh. Oh, obey, Gunda. You all know what I said? Mm -hmm. They all go bay, goon. Let's round dance. Oh. <laughs> bay goon. <laughs> yeah. They just say bay goon. They do want to round dance. They all, all go bay, goon. They all go bay, goon. All go bay is round. All go bay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Kobe. Oh, Kobe. The round dance has a name. Oh, Kobe. Is that like, how would you break that down, translate that? Because I'm curious how it's. Let's do how the round different. dance. 
You How say, is that please? different from the word for like a circle, like make a circle or That's get a, a circle. circle? Yeah. It's I'll really saying back. dance around the circle, dance around the circle. Are you oh, okay. doing a circular motion? Oh, okay. Okay. Because what is that kind of a word that we have for uh, when we're talking with little kids, you know, about the shapes of things? Mm -hmm. um, the circle would be a cutout. Cutout is a circle. For like a wheel? Mm -hmm. It also could be like your round medallion on your necklace. Ah, uh, But how is that a different, oh, how is that different oh, from Al Kobe? For round dance. That's Al Kobe. Al Kobe. Al Kobe. Yeah. They all Kobe. Good. That's round dance. It's the only okay. thing I ever heard it used for at, you know, when I first my learning years. Oh, that's good to know. And back to that medallion, you'd probably say bone cut off because you want to make bon. sure to yeah. understand it's a beaded circle. Oh, bone cut off. I failed in that bon. class. <laughs> I think bon. <laughs> I kept dropping my beads and the <laughs> Mr. No <Noah> fired me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so how would we translate this? They dom tai go. They don't. They don't. They don't. They, they don't tai. I think you should have a line to that D. Too. Oh, is it is it a yeah. strike through? Okay. All. All. They don't tai go. They don't tai. All the people on the earth. I own time or a own time. I own time. They, they, became, yeah, they keyed they out. Yeah, they were happy. I would just say, yeah, they keyed out. Yeah, own time on, on, on a coke dome on. Own time though. They own it. Happy. Own it. So is that like translating to like, so be happy? That's what they said. <laughs> mm -hmm. They told us to be happy. <laughs> yeah. They became happy. It they was said that they became happy. Like they, if I seen one of you that sitting in there in person and I was going to hug you, I would say, day oh day. Oh, happy. Oh. And then, if you want to specify, you could say, "They own they am son." Oh, so they became happy. And then, is it sounded like he said "they dom tai," and so or did he say "they" again? Martha told you it's all over the world. They yeah. don't. So you just repeated this. Yeah, just that like that line right there. So this copy that down to the B. Okay. And then it's the same translation. So have you heard that song? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of hear it around this time of year too, you know, because all of the songs from that period I've noticed have the they told us oh. or that's what they said. Mm -hmm. and I guess we were comparing what was closer to God's word or the creator's word. Oh. Well, it makes sense because the missionaries came and, you know, it wasn't like we had firsthand, firsthand knowledge of that particular, what they were sharing. <clears throat> um, let's see. So I, let's see, I was trying to practice this one. Um, 
And then sing it four times. I own Tahe. I own Tahe. Let's see. They got. They were happy. They got happy. Oh. And so this is a, this would be a song that you would hear around. You said around yeah. Christmas time. It seemed like some of the the like there's a more modern up to date song when you're telling God. So long, yeah. That's what you said. You said you would help. And mm -hmm. seem like in some of those older songs, they are asking. You know, that's what you said. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking you now. Oh. I never did congratulate you, Courtney, for getting that award. I hope. I've got <laughs> hundreds of cards and I can't sit down and address one and send it. And it's <laughs> proud. Oh. Uh -huh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I've got a recording, Martha, my mother, and Ta is a, it's somebody singing a little nursery rhyme. And it's Ta, Ta, Toinkle, Ta, Ta, Toinkle, and Gulam go tonk and keep, or he by a double wind. And those words don't make any sense. <laughs> it says, friend, friend, my leg hurts. Yeah. Friend, friend, my leg hurts. Mm -hmm. Put paint on my face and ghoul up. Throw me in a river. Yeah. Throw me in the water. <laughs> and then I don't know who or oh, he by somebody's name. He's got big ear holes. That don't make any sense, but it's a nursery rhyme. And the baby's supposed to be dancing. I don't even know what it's saying. We got to translate a lot of those too. Those are old nursery rhymes. Oh, that's cute. That's what a Lahoma horse sang that song one time and she said her mom said that they called it the leg ache song. Yeah. Friend, <laughs> friend, my leg hurts. And a salamander is a montogu. And when our legs hurt, my dad used to draw something under my foot and he said it was a salamander. That's oh, wow. I learned how to salamander, so things they can't see, and they live in the cellars. Remember sitting in a tornado shelter, it was just a root cellar of all things. Oh. Even in there, they sang to you. Oh, um, let's see here. So what, uh, should I play, could I play the next speaker on this recording here about the Christmas?
Uh, cool. Uh, cool. Let me for let me forward it. Let's see. He was at where he just got done talking. He. ว่าบ่อนายเก็บน้องไว้กันกันให้ก็เก็บรอดได้เกือบหมดค่ะเอ้อดิคิเฮ้ยก็เฮ้ยก็ yeah, I get 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 ตัวเหี้ยไม่ได้อ่ะสอดพอติโกอันนั้นให้ติโกติโกเอ็มให้ติตะแกให้โนกโนซาตะโกโกดออะไรตุไอตุตุเอโนปีโนกูไปติโด
Egango Tenedo family, Alicak E at San Nego, Nego, Go Robin, there, and I go kill, go get on, and go pile, get all day. I go go on the pay to own, you get on, get good dog, keep the pulse, say, get there, later, kill, and I'm cool. ตัวโอ้ยตัวอุ้ยสอยได้กาหูก้มเตะให้อีกเตะกอดอัลทายาสัยอาคูดอเคเกเกอมรีวิวัลบัตตองเกเตะเกอาให้เบ้าอีกเ
We'll look it up though, see if it's close. It's the only, only word I caught. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Girl, Martha, would you like to add anything? On what, okay. uh, that was a uh, Hazel Botone, right? Right, and she always is pretty clear in speaking, so I'll get her, get her uh, words real clear. Uh, and she just goes on to say that, you know, today we're talking about Christmas. And she said, as a young girl, she um, learned about Christmas and her day, she said her dad was a member, I guess, of that church area she's talking about. And she mentions Redstone, Redstone Church first. And she said they always went to camp, Christmas camp and they camped in a circle. Uh, she said uh, that they put up their own tents, I guess, the way they lived. Uh, and the men were always visiting. Uh, so I guess the women put up those tents, so she didn't say that. But anyway, she mentioned her sister, Esther, was just a small child, she said. She was still a child. And she said they they camped for, it sounds like three nights, or they were there for three nights. And then she said um, there was a man speaking loudly, kind of like probably not on a uh, uh, microphone or anything, but she said he was talking loudly, and he was telling them that good things were coming and things were gonna happen. And uh, she kind of made, called him a loudspeaker man, is what she said. And so he, they're talking about Christmas night. And then she mentions the tree too, that it smelled good and now you could smell cedar. And the uh, children are all hopeful at that time. Um, and then she said, there's boxes there and there were bags there and had things like girls toys and then that's where uh, Dorothy came in and said how old she was. She said, ye are uh, then uh, maybe as old as four years old. And it was called Big Bull Mission. Um, and that Ned Brace said that um, in the church, they didn't think they were doing anything. He said, let's do something. Let's get ready. So he said, you know, they had cattle. So they wanted to butcher the cattle. And so they could feed all the people. And then it talks about Cedar Creek. Um, they're surrounded. There was a lot of cedar trees in that area is what he said. But I guess it was, I already had a name, that church. And then he even said that, um, she even said that the Tenedos came and, and joined them. And Tenedos are a big family, I know that. So she said they had a large crowd. And later she said different um, uh, people came to join them and they still camp like they did. And let's see what she's saying. Uh, they traveled by wagon. So that most of those people, how they got around. Um, and she just goes on to talk again about the camp, you know. And um, and then she talked about what they did. She, she kept, a couple of times she said the candy was bagged. It was ready there and it was bagged. And they gave gifts like face towels and the little girls got dolls. And she said, that's what I remember. And then she gives her kaiwane which means she has two. I think it's ye and do. Oh. oh, that's awesome. Martha, mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you say St. Peter? <laughs> Handkerchief. <laughs> Handkerchief. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it. I haven't seen that in a long time. They called them snot rags. Yeah, St. Peter Coy is what they call them. St. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that fetal in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I hadn't seen those in ages. You remember that was the oh. major Christmas present, a box mm -hmm. of handkerchiefs. You can't hardly find them anymore. <laughs> I know it. To go to old stores. <laughs> <laughs> and if you were crying and a gentleman had a handkerchief in his pocket, <laughs> Lord knows where it went, but they'd. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your tears away. <laughs> oh gosh. That's so, so pretty. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Good. That's yeah. awesome. Hearing her memories. <laughs> I know. Good. Pretty ones. I could kind of see it. Um what I remember was going to the church on Christmas night and the big tree that was sitting there, they used to put things in that tree too, their gift things. And what I could remember was seeing a lot of bunches of handkerchiefs and um, socks. That's what I remember. 
<laughs> I remember we'd write to Santa Claus. Beto, it was people and, <laughs> from St. Patrick's. And so I rode and I got a pair of roller skates for Christmas. Wow. That day, there was no place to be on them in the country. I got a useless present. <laughs> that was funny. And little dolls, you'd see them and think, oh, I wish that was for me. Oh, wow. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to um, play the next speaker. Um, let's see. You know, several Christmas ago, Judy Carter gave me a little grandma doll, a little bitty one. It's just a little rag doll with the apron on and stuff. That yeah, was so cute. Aww. And then uh, are... one year, about 20 years ago, Dolores Harrigera, she gave me the cutest little doll that she used to make. It looked just like my mother. She had a black shawl on and a little blue dress and black braids and her uh, little black shawl. Oh, I still have it. That's awesome. Um, okay, I'm going to play the next speaker here. Um, and the candle. Hey, I'm E. I'm Hank and Kuta. Hey, I'm the Kimahota. Hey, Kango. Yeah, the Lord, he go and take Oko. Be into a dog. Hey, I'm Kuta. Go get. I go to Bali. The Lord, he go. No, I go to go. I had the only dog in the go. He go on it, Hank. All will be a more. I go, my dog, he go. And yeah, he go in the toy, he go on, but all the go. In faith, go to be a more. Put a go. A key of some go. My daughter could be on the one cold. I call old Dunky Daughter. I can unpot. I go. A key of them could do you hope to tow you could go. On the old key, the higher I thought on the again on the daughter. I can take. I go. Get cool, tidy board, I go. Oh, so we bat home, go. Don't I get all at all the board, go. Oh, get all the one good day to be today, dog. Frog, I get all the go, go. On the end, get the Give my hand, sack a gong, my hand. Give <laughs> I got so long, yeah, I'll go no, so you did hog. Day, I lift the dog, the dog, I saw on the dog. Get more cool, I get dog, I get on the get. I go, hey, go, get laid up, I get on the dog, go. Both, don't try to get going, go, I go, be today, dog. Eight the only higher, and him daughter. I go to pay, daughter, I don't. He go get good, I go. No, I just so walk, a bar walk, I go, 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 I
hondi geppo dut e go. Get dut from e go po, do chai tung ye, get o. Get ay, get on to get pail by the dog, and only a get go to get ay, hondi geppo. Nea di ki da ke go on ni a doi go on ho te on di on gu bing do get to ni go get a ki get to ni. Nea di ki go mo po san on di on di te ko san on di ke do di go di pe do o ye di hon di ke do di go toi ya ha pa sa do a do di go hai ku di ne ta. Do de he can on go get po do go to ho ko te he get to te o ba ho no so ya ha ni. Okay. Were you able to catch any of that, Grandma Dorothy? I always respected this woman because that was Hazel Boton's sister. And her husband's name was, uh, Esther was her name. That was uh, our friend passed away last year. Hmm. Iron, that was his mother. Mm -hmm. His father was Cheevers. Always, they were always so kind themselves. But she's talking about how Christmases were with the elder elders and the way they got everything through the outside beta prayer and the she she named the announcer, I guess the camp crier is what we say in English now. There is a Kiowa for it, but I missed it. And uh, that made the announcements about things that were gonna be happening while they were in that enca encampment. And how good it was to hear praying people and the people that were nice to each other, kind, odd ape, odd ape is kind, nice, inviting, smile on your face, uncoded, odd ape, odd ape. It's a good word. That's a kind family. And she always talked like that, even in her lifetime. And uh, they lived it. They lived what they said. And I just enjoyed listening to her talk because she was, con me, wasn't uh, loud. And she was a lady. They all were that generation. That was, she talked about all the duties a woman had. But it wasn't complaining. It was just saying that was our job. That's what hit me the best in the word audit that she used. Oh, that's awesome. Uh -huh. uh, oh, Grandma, uh -huh. Mar oh. Grandma Marthanel, you want to add anything to that? Oh, she pretty much said everything that. Um, um, Mrs. Hope, I was talking about again. She's just reiterating that the, how the elders came and camped. Um, I'm not sure if I heard this at the beginning, but it sounded like she was talking about. She said, "Bottle," which is like quilts. I work for quilts. Bottle. Yeah. Uh, she said the women were always busy taking care of those kind of things, you know, because it's cold that time of year, so they were preparing everything. And then she said. Um, um, she talked about them uh, getting the meals ready. ready for, um, they made sturdy meals. I remember her saying that. And then she went on to talk about that man speaking and the one that's announcing to the people. Uh, he made all the announcements. And then she said there were lots of invitations, you know, from other families to another. Um, I, I couldn't quite remember how that came out, but she was talking about, you know, they say, um, Cook Alley. There's yes, a lot of that going on because that means you're inviting people to your camp to eat, and she and I can't remember how exactly that was said in there, but I kind of pulled some of that out of there, and that's when she talked about how generous the Cairo people are, and that word "audit" came in. 
uh, she said it was hard work, but they did it. She said they uh, had those white tents and she said they had everything all ready. Talk, church talking about the women. It was all good and they were all good workers. And she said they know, knew how to do things. And then she said at Christmas night, they had prayers and they had sermons. Uh, they even gave cattle away and some of their gifts. Uh, may have given it to maybe the church too in, in lieu of money or something. But anyway, she said they said prayers and um, she said um, uh, the life was good or well. And she said today it's different. And she said mostly now it's for the children. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. that's really yeah. interesting. The way she said, Martha. Mm -hmm. It kupole. Yeah. You know, I fought that word for about five years, ku kelly. Mm -hmm. Not one Kiowa could tell me what ku meant. It just means you got invited to eat. Mm -hmm. I said, well, why didn't they just say them be, you know, they told us to come eat. A be ah uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. But cook alley. I even asked some of the elder elders, like Oscar Soodle. Never thought I'd be saying his name. And they could, and Gus, they never could come up with the meaning of coup. Mm -hmm. But it's used a lot in our old Kiowa. Mm -hmm. Coup. You remember that melody? When I oh. Yeah, I remember us going over that and like we were we were actually making a list of all the different words that we could think of that had that word in it. Yeah. Um, we got a bunch too. Would um that be ku uh ka well, how'd you say kale? That like yeah. we're gathering together to eat is roughly like what was the translation of that saying that she said? Oh, they I would just heard it. Cook alley means something. Somebody invited you, or they invited us to eat with them, or some. Okay. The way the meaning came out. They invited even, us. To, awesome. Even, even Dane. Our cook at the. Yeah, the cook at the. Just you're inviting a whole bunch of people to come over there to come eat. Cook at the. And that's um. I'm looking in the glossary. Who can't, uh, um, and I go on get different. <laughs> go on gets when you just sit down and eat. And they got to invite. Oh gosh, it's nice. Oh, there's um, there's a couple of uh, words in the glossary that talk about that. You want me to pull it up really quick? Yeah. So tell us what that. We can look at it together. Um, if I so eat meat gravy right now, I just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds yummy. Um, okay, so there's this kukal ga gya. Kukal gya. Kukal An invitation to a meal. That's another tongue twister, and it's got a hard description. Oh, inviting to a meal at that one. And the dinner invitation. Yeah. So that's actually talking about the invitation to it. Of so inviting someone. Yeah, let's see what that looks. So this one is, let's see, how would you say this one? Uh Kukal hop. <laughs> I don't know who be doing that unless you're a really good cook. <laughs> Means you're prone to be giving meals. Oh wow! You like, you like so, to give meals, you know. <laughs> hosting dinner all the time. <laughs> yeah, you have to be a good cook. It's bigger coat. Oh yeah, never somebody. <laughs> <laughs> um what is this uh let's see so and then the word that you said that you're referencing is 
Ku Kiale. Mm -hmm. Da Ku Kiale. Like, that means they invited us. They da Ku yeah. Kiale. So okay. it sounds like there needs to be a verb. Like it sounds like that's a verb. Da Ku Kiale. Well, this one, and this is the word right here. Ku Kiale. Da Ku Kiale. Mm -hmm. That's, I don't know where it doesn't come. The pink alley. That means mm -hmm. they invited us to eat. Mm -hmm. But then that coo has always been connected with eating. Oh. When you use it in that way. So I don't know. It was always puzzled me. Still does. It's a good word. But I, what I'm saying is we should uh, mention to Dane when he ups, updates his glossary, we should add a verb. Something in there. Because the, this is a noun, which is about the invitation. And this is an adjective. So it's not really a verb. Yeah, but it's how described, you're, describing a person, really, you know. How yeah, a person yeah. is, yeah. How a person but how is. you're saying it is, it's, we're act, it's actually you're doing something. You're yeah. going to it's eat with someone because they invited you. I'm not going to be cook, Al Hop. I don't cook that much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when I get cook, Ellie. <laughs> so I feel, but I feel like we're missing a word in there, you know, uh, that there's, uh, I think we should uh, request that Dane look, like maybe he came up, he came across it, but yeah. Well, he updates all the time, so he may have found one to put in. I'll mention that to him. <laughs> that we, we need a right. verb in here. <laughs> but I'm like Dorothy. That's always been a kind of a different type of word. It's, it's interesting. I like that. And and like uh, Grandma Dorothy said before, like the that double O sound, that ooh sound mm -hmm. is in a lot of, you don't hear it as much anymore, but it's in a lot of the old old speakers ways of talking so that's awesome mm -hmm. okay let me let me switch you know here. ours is uh there's so many words that were invented as compared to our old kiowa and i think we slip into that quite a bit the old kiowa words without realizing it oh that's why i just i can't understand verbs or nouns or nothing <laughs> i was looking at new parker's things last night and i still couldn't do it well and, and kaya was pretty complicated that's what we were talking about on wednesday Grandma. i know it how complicated it is <laughs> So anybody who took this and got certified, they're smart. Yeah. <laughs> Perceptive, good. And just if I had to learn it, I'd probably have failed. Oh. <laughs> really, I would have. Well, and those uh those linguists seem to make it even more complicated. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let me uh, share the recording again. Okay, uh, cool. I'm gonna press play. Hey, the key ain't gonna get to some. Hey, gonna get back on get the. No, go. Yeah, I gonna go. I not kill. I'm good Tonkokopa Take 
kumpem ku paji ja te mahtilti ko koko toitouko oko paabi patouko ahtoon te pitouko opeha nähtil ikki ku muut ettei heikko ja kutsoi koa puhtili ku paako koa paako do kaatiltit sekä ne puhtilit sulha Kadang-kadang kita, kita tu sangat macam orang kita, kita tidak, tapi kalau kita orang dewasa, kita tidak tahu. 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 Mayo pati ko al keto ko le ko o ko thong si ke to to ko chi ya di chi ya ko so ko e ko ha ha ke ko mong ko ya ho to so tay po te ko ya ya pay te ko mong di ke po to ko le ko em ku ki to chi ko ya to to da le ko em ku ki to chi ya ko a to chi hei pa ko Ja, ja päätet on se kymko, ka a taimi kuukku ja hapeikko, no, a no, ja kongu, ko koi en taote, hondi tongu tentu edes neikko, me ei kutsulu tähän, ja ta, ta oikein piinsa, ta te kohu akulko, te kom taota, te kään, me kään, te kään, ja, Ya, boh, kau ni kau mohon. No kau hei, kau jadi kita tahu tahu tengah hari cerita. Eh, kau kau anjir ya. Hei, lantai kau pisau di tahun itu hei, kita tahu kau. Hanya, eh, kau dia hei dia mukun kita mat mat air tu, kau dia pau panas kau dia kau. Iku ko ay suje kuyu ko di ko di ko di ko di pont ay pa um ay ko um all pa all pa di to di ko mo suje ha to yeso ko di ko ay di ko di pont ay ko na non di ko di mo kung di to mo ikan suje po pa di yeso Oh, itu lantai orang mana yang ikut tayo di je je mukun je tau di ko hon hon je pun mohon di je tau je de. Nya, oh, so kau di tau tau di ko, dia, ai tayo ko, hon di pun hon di al je tau ko di ko je pun a je hon, ai ko no hai yuk tau tau kali sami ko, oh. Obatiti ei ei oiko toko olal hei toiko eikä kunkuusko ne ko ita pono ko minä ne unhaima oh oni ke to hei ke al ei oti kiita peke ko tehon di ke poko to hei oi to to kalle kumo ne ko soi i di to ne kumo i poko di to ko Nah, uhan sulo kita om, deh, jasam ni kita ada kita, pegu boy on ni kita tu, on kinoi tau pade, deh on ni kita tu deh sa, deh mau pahal jasam tu san, oh tomat. Okay, uh, Grandma Dorothy, what would you like to share about what she said? Everything is so mean now at that time because it was so modernized. Somebody even at, uh, at one of those old timey tape players, I guess it was, and they played that and they could listen. My new word was saw me. <laughs> And popa, and popa has mean something tied together. And uh, oh, pa. yeah, p o e dash pa. I put 
P-A-H. <laughs> and not thinking about verbs or nothing. I'm just saying the way it sounds. Po pa. That's to tie something together. And not mukunde. Not to uh mukunde is to twist. And just think of the jawbreaker in words that they use just to the common talking. And it's all saw me. And she was talking about the 1960s and 70s. Now the toys are so different. They're so modern than what they were in the old days. And, uh, and think of the time. And now from the 70s to now, 90 years ago, and how they thought it was so modernized. It's just always a wonder to me. If you really listen, they use with their talks, they use that power that we never use anymore. Like if we were doing something, I'd say, Melody, ain't it a pole pie? <laughs> you know, or, or I'd say, just see your uh, first thing, little children, when they put their shoes on, a lot of them put them on the wrong foot. <laughs> it makes you think about that word, and then you say, Men dog them in pole pie. Mm -hmm. Put them on and you tie them right. It's just, you could sit there and listen to those all day and learn something. It's wonders. Oh, oh, oh that's awesome. I haven't heard that word before, um, oh, huh. And so I think that's a really good word to, yeah. especially cause like, I don't know what she was talking about specifically, but it makes me think about with, around Christmas time ribbons and like tying ribbons with, you know, tying stuff together with ribbons. Mm -hmm. It makes you kind of lonesome cause you think those were times when they were just too happy to be with each other to visit. Camping together around the church. That oh. feeling was always there, but we didn't fortunate. It's unfortunate that we weren't able to see something like that. What they oh. seen. Oh. It is Yasami. Um, did she say, uh, ta time ago, like, uh, isn't that like lonesome? No, this is time Yeah, we just came with each other. Oh, this uh, is say, Martha, they they took ya a time ago, Banma. See that goo? Time is when you get lonesome. Goo is. Take it away in that sentence. Oh, awesome. You're going to cure me. Time me goo. And it's exactly what Tugger told me the other day. He said, God, Aunt Dorothy, when I see you, I always get lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make you sad. <laughs> oh. Those are some good words. Um, and, uh, instead of saying I'm glad to see you, he said I always get lonesome. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <clears throat> Poor thing. <laughs> Man. Um Grandma Martha, did you want to add anything? I, I like the way she explained everything that lady said. Um that um was that a Miss Two Hatchet? Uh, Isabel, to have you sound like her. Um, I think so. Yeah, in the beginning, she talked about when they camped. She said it kind of sounded like all those relatives camped together and that they camped there each year, like at the same place. And she mentioned some last names like uh, Aniku and Dorjo. Um, anyway, their families there, I guess. And then uh, she talked about Christmas Day itself when it came. Um, and, uh, 
all the things that they did was kind of what we mentioned before, you know, like they could have killed a cow, I guess, and then divided that meat. And the women would come and gather different parts of that to make their meal. And it was, um, she said they ate good. And there was that coo cat dog again in there. She, yeah. People doing that. And then they went to church at night and uh, they did a lot of visiting too. Um, and um, then she talked, like she talked the Edison thing that they don't have anymore. That it's not like they were recording those songs when they were singing. Uh, they don't have that anymore, that type of machinery to do that. Uh, at Christmas night, they, she talked about that tree and she mentioned that it wasn't decorated like it is today, you know, because somebody quit. In this modern day, some of these trees are just really coordinated, you know. But she said they weren't like that then. Um, that they hung things in trees, maybe like gift items we're talking about. And then she uh, talked again about that things were tied and they weren't um, they weren't just hung up there any old way that tied them right. Um, and then she said, uh, nowadays they do that, you know, they just anything and then she kind of mentioned some items maybe that were gifts there and then she got down to the um um dolls um by the way the dolls were the hangy hangies were the dolls and she said they had like uh real life looking faces but they didn't have any hair on the dolls they were just real plain but they were always happy to get those dolls she said, and nowadays she said, the dolls sound like real babies. They make noise like real babies. And then everything is different than like they were in the old days. And that's how she ended it. And then one thing more. There, that goo again. <laughs> Hanai goo, yeah. Hanai goo, yeah. And it means you get cured. Mm -hmm. You get well, and then time make go. Mm -hmm. Take away the loneliness. And then yet when you say, Kahi Tom, it's I get lonesome. Kahi Tom, Tom. And Kahi is tomorrow, but I feel like you know, I'll say, gosh, I'm glad to talk to you. I can't eat, huh? And there's three ways to say that you're lonely. But Hanagu, yeah, you will get, you'll get well. Mm -hmm. And then Taimeku, cure the loneliness. And Kahi Tama is, I get lonely. Oh. Isn't it something? There's three ways to say it. Or hey, Gandhi, ought sought. I just sit down and cry. Ought. Aww. And or you say, um, Daba and Zol, yeah. My tears were just falling. Daba and Zolia. But tears are Daba. It's good to you know. One day I call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I'm a poor, you're saying poor thing, and I'm saying, one day I call. And it just because never hit it. No, I call. Say, you that say you're calling, get out of the way. I'm the one that's calling. You know, <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> no. man, those are so some I, good words, some good phrases. I call on time when you feel sorry for someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, now here's <laughs> another one, Martha. Oh, I get 
the whole day about goo goo go on go be go. Go. No wonder on go be go. Have you ever hit yourself by putting your skulls on? You know when your hand slips. <laughs> Talk about corn. <laughs> it's staggering around. That's what getting old is. Mm -hmm. And Grandpa Oliver J. O. Taylor used to say, Boy, make some dogs I eat, dog, get corny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't play to get old, it's no good. Well, Dorothy, tell us what's that word to be staggered around when you can't walk right. Oh, yeah, to you. know. Oh, yeah, to you. Because someone had the nerve to ask me, how come you always fall? And say, how do I know? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're sitting on the floor and you're wondering how you're going to get up. Mm -hmm. To fall down is to you. Staggering, yeah, it's oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, fell down. Are they all go? I bumped my head. Didn't hit. Yeah, I got went to see my sister one time. I said, Anna Sue, where are your dentures? And she said, They all hot. <laughs> I fell down and bumped my head. I don't know where they went. Think of things like that and laugh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's see. I think we have time for one more. I think you're happy. Oh. Get to Zan, the key better. Hey, go and get to Zan. Oh, hi, hi, pay to get hi, they get the honor, ya hi, go. Oh, go, 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 and key out all day. We hi, ya hon, they hi, get on top. Get they get the almond. I got paid to Monica. They go so Monica home. They know honey, I go, they ain't go to Tabby. Tabby go ya high and they can't go to Zan. They could pay a donkey. Get to Zan, my day to a go to law. And I hope I go down to get more cool dog. Oh, but get old or oh, get bang at Kondo, we can ban. I saw, um, oh, 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 get old oh, go oh, 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 go. Oh, so caught the one in caught down time because they got get on hook the day they got gone the sauce they get get on get more hook because they got got down time they ain't oh they got back up the town where I hope they got they got home they got come on being get home they get out. I go, I go, stay on the game, oh, get go, I go, gee, go on, I'm hard, I didn't hear, oh, God, so, gee, go, I'm hard, go, I 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 go, Oh, they go here and tie on, but don't get my you be half don't get so we back on. No, I'm by I eat 
Tade, my dog Cahabe. Gee, go another dog Cahabe. Tade, my Habe, my dog Cahabe. It got so long, get the home day. There you go. Mon get the um gay go. It got and can't he don't get. I go get more whole gay ink of being gay. I go M con, can you M con? My eye is a um, a tap of ball and button. So, the bar named Kuhad. Oh, naked all day. Oh, Kekong, Kahai get up. They all talk, they hang get the on, on get all day go. No, he go on, naked all day on. Hey, oh. No, ooh, ooh, at age, get home day get all day, oh, oh, home day, chant, oh, no, oh, 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 they go hang get the ring for the key that they go. Hunt go like a talk, they ache or they don't go. They too long, you hide it. Don't go go out. Okay. Uh, Grandma Dorothy, would you like to comment? Everybody in those days traveled on the Kodal. The Kodal, it's a circle. That's what they called a wagon. Or even into the later years, they called a car a Kodal because it was a circle and it, 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 uh, it imitated the sound of the wheels that you were depending on. Everybody had those, and she's emphasizing how very nice people were then. They shared everything. They'd invite you to eat. They'd get up before the sun came up and go into the church to share their prayers. And then the day started, and she said they were all so, so nice. I don't know what's wrong now. And she's talking about the now time in the 60s and 70s. So we must be super mean. <laughs> you know, if we, we're trying to imitate our kind ones, you know, the ones we remember were very nice. I think so. It says, Kuba. And I Kuba. How did she say that, uh, Martha? I Kuhaba. They ate. Someone invited you all the time. Kuhido. or something like that. Yeah. The Kuhido. Or Homo I heard that all the time from my mother. Have you guys eaten? Or, you know, by that time, you don't even answer them because they have it set. They have the coffee poured and everything. Oba. Oh, that's that coo ha doll. That's what she said. Yeah. The calling out, you know. Yeah. You. Yeah. The high dolls call out. That means you just tell them, come over it and you're going to eat, <laughs> you know. Coo ha doll. Remember that one. Coo ha doll. What's circle. that? A, a, a coo ha doll. Yeah. yeah. Da coo ha doll. Da coo ha doll. Da. Like, it's the, the calling out. Know. They're hollering at us. They're inviting us, but they're kind of hollering to get your attention. Yeah. Not Kuhido. 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 That's a good word. <laughs> it is the inviting word. You know, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, if you went to someone's camp, they might say, 
No, I know I've always been welcome. Whether you're just walking by or something. <laughs> <laughs> At least get a taste of something down there. People were kind. That's awesome. I like those descriptions. <laughs> yeah, and every one of them said that. They were generous with their food and what they had. But I don't think they were de deprived at all because they were they all had cattle in those days. I can remember watching them butcher in our brown in our a lot of times. Hmm. In the Redstone neighborhood, they would shine a go on a hill and and shine a mirror, and that was a mm -hmm. yeah, that's that was the invite. People didn't have phones then, you know. Yeah. And you could see that too. They're shining a mirror up there. That's yeah. awesome. You know what? I wish somebody would check with that place in Oklahoma City someday by phone and see if they have the legs of the cow when they butcher. <laughs> if ever I get that way, I will check. You know, that marrow in the bones and the shin oh. bones. Yeah. That was kind of what, uh, that could be just put in the oven. They used to lay them on the fire when they were butchering. And you ate that stuff with a willow, a peeled willow chopstick. I call it a chopstick, but it was regular. When you ate that marrow out of the bone. Bone marrow, yeah. It was good. I mean, they it was call rich, it Kiwa too. ice cream. It was really rich, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> oh, I'd even like to make same cake. Oh. Mm -hmm. We need to make some of that. Ashona keeps asking about it. We need to make some. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, let's see. Grandma Martha Nell, did you want to add anything else? Well, I like the way she covered most of what she said. Basically, she kind of went over, you know, what we heard before about them camping. But uh, she um, started out by kind of talking about how what good workers those people were, especially the women. And um, she uh, said that um, sometimes those men would tell those ladies to um, uh, make some coffee. And, you know, they would call their, the men and they'd even say, bring your wife with you or something like that. So they were doing the inviting and she was doing the work, see. And uh, anyway, he'd say, uh, make some soy, which is coffee. And um, and then after that, they go real early to church. And uh, and then later on, the, um, their mother always had a meal ready. And then people would come and eat. That's when they had it. Cool high that all means they're calling out to somebody to invite them. Uh, so they yeah. go right to them to tell them, you know, they could be calling from their camp to the next camp or something like that. And she said, we don't have that now. She said, um, it's different. Uh, on, on, get doll. She said, it's different now. Uh, and she really did deal with them putting out a good meal out there. And she said, but all of that's gone. It's changed. it's changed so much now. I feel like we found something in a coo hardy. <laughs> they holler at you to come <laughs> eat. But coo hardy, it means go out there and holler for them to come <laughs> eat. But <laughs> we are. <laughs> 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 cool cat. <laughs> that sounds, I'm going to come to your camp and do that for the July. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll, I'll be yelling that from my Uncle Junior's camp. <laughs> <laughs> like you're really in it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's those are some good good phrases that we got today. We learned. They're interesting. <clears throat> 
Oh, some old Kiowa. <clears throat> well, um, we are, well, we're a little over time, but it's past five o'clock. So I should probably close this up and let us all go about our day. And I gotta go get dinner ready. Speaking of meals. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and uh for anyone who is uh available we'll be meeting on wednesday and on wednesday we're going to continue talking about kiowa nouns pronouns and verbs kiowa sentences and then um uh spending some time translating that kiowa proverbs recording mm -hmm. i'm gonna try to split the session in half so we could spend half our time translating that so that's the plan for Wednesday. And uh, let's see. So next uh, next Sunday. So there's another recording. And I think we might have listened to it a while back, but I don't remember. It's the uh, Kiowa Culture Program. I think it's a 233. And it's, um, it, let me see, let me find it. It just says Christmas. So. I don't know if we've listened to that. We may have, but I think because this recording, I think there's only a, like five more minutes of left on this one. So we might finish this one up next Sunday and then start that number 233, which is Christmas and see what they say on that one. <clears throat> so, and then um, someone mentioned talking about New Year's at some point. And so there is a Kiowa culture program recording on new year celebrations long ago which that might be uh something we could do in january when we meet on sunday sounds sound good uh -huh. so with that i guess um i'll go ahead and close this out um so <clears throat> close my door um so i'll fade outside <clears throat> どうもよんだきえんとんたただききださてどれやてんそうあめえんとあげはだきげたんえかんだきだだきでおんでおんだたいどまきべだえんだきあんできえんだ I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. Hey God, but oi don't tie da. I hope everyone stays healthy. Oh, hey God, but don't. Oh, Wednesday. <laughs> oh.